Joining us live via Zoom now is British political commentator Tom Gross. Uh, good evening, Tom. And uh, tell us more uh, about this uh, symbolic and the political importance of the first uh, black woman leading the Conservative Party. Yes, well, it's a remarkable achievement for her. She's 44. Although she was born in Britain, she grew up in Nigeria, in West Africa, and only really moved to Britain age 16. She didn't go to one of the big universities like Oxford or Cambridge. She is, as you say, the first black woman to lead a major British political party. She was voted in over a three-month process by the, you know, 100,000-plus party members against uh, five other candidates. And I think I should also mention um, that something quite interesting. In the United States, we may also have the first black female leader, uh, Kamala Harris, in a couple of days. But Kenny Badenoch has done it all by herself, if I can put it like that. Uh, she's an outsider. She's been elected by a largely white conservative electorate, conservative party electorate, purely through talent and being better than the other candidates, whereas some would say that Kamala Harris has kind of been picked uh, to offset Joe Biden, who is, of course, old, white and mayor. So uh, she seems like a, a very, very impressive woman. And then to be able to uh, clinch that position, obviously, she has a, it's apparently a, a good track record. What is it that's giving so many conservatives uh, confidence in her? Well, some people are comparing her to Margaret Thatcher. She's, a, she's very outspoken. She knows her mind. She hasn't been frightened to address things like trans issues, which a lot of people are a little bit terrified to even mention for fear of being cancelled. So she stood up for feminism against trans issues. She stood up for Israel, as you just mentioned, in, in no, no uncertain terms. She's rejected identity politics. In the previous outgoing government, she was business secretary. She got to know, in that role, uh, Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida. And they are quite friends now, DeSantis and uh, Kenny Badenoch. And there's a kind of mutual admiration between the two of them. And obviously, the Conservatives lost power in, in, in Britain uh, four months ago, after 14 years in power to the Labour Party under Keir Starmer. So it's going to be an uphill battle uh, to get to come back. But but also, I think it's good for Britain in a way that she's the African uh, female. She is actually the fourth female leader of the Conservative Party after Margaret Thatcher, Liz Truss and Theresa May. And of course, the last leader of the Conservative Party, Rishi Sunak, was of Indian origin. So, you know, I think Britain has something to be proud of that the Conservative Party, mm -hmm. not the left-wing Labour Party, uh, right. seems to be lacking in racism. Right.